Papua New Guinea is the land of the unexpected, and unexpected things also happen in the country, including people eating foodstuff that is not found in many parts of the globe. One of the foodstuff that is unusual on the food list consumed in the country is sago. Sago, though eaten in other parts of PNG as supplement, is the main staple food of Gulf and Sipik River people. In both provinces, sago swamps cover huge areas and these swamps have been sustaining life for generations with sago. In Purari, sago is not only the staple food but it is the main food that is eaten at breakfast, as snacks throughout the day and as main food at dinner. Sago will always be present in all meals in Purari and there is not a day Purari people will live without eating sago. There are swamps and swamps of sago in Purari, but most Purari people prefer to plant young sago palm trees which takes 10 years to grow and upon maturity it is cut, cleaned and left to the women and girls to carry the burden of opening the palm logs, scraping the pulps and pounding or beating the pulps continuously with specially made palm stick in order to extract the fresh juice. The pouring of water into the pulps makes the beating softer and easier for the hand to squeeze the juice which runs down the sago front into the specially made palm front baskets. Children grow up learning much needed skills of processing sago from a very tender age and you can see the father and mother with their young children cleaning the newly cut down sago palm.
Women and girls in Purari are more valuable than the LNG royalty benefits for monetary benefits will dwindle but the hunger for Sego will never be satisfied by LNG benefits. Thus women and girls have been playing a very significant role in supporting life in Purari for generations. They get up very early in the morning and without breakfast start on the whole day steady chore of making Sego. They will remain in the Sego making area from sunrise to sunset. As the sago is beaten or pounded by the stick, the beating noise is accompanied by unique high-pitched whistles made from lips that can be heard from far distances. This distinct blowing of whistle from lips has been ringing in Purari for generations, and the high-pitched lip whistle from Purari women will still be ringing for many more generations to come. You can hear this beautiful unique lip whistle as the women are beating the scraped sago pops.
after the hard day's work, the seagull starch formed inside the specially made palm front basket is harvested after draining the water. Then this fresh seagull is packed in porari baskets made from fresh seagull palm leaves. After harvesting, sago flour is left to dry for a few days. Then the process of preparing to be eaten begins. We will bring this process in our next video on sago. Thank you for watching. I am Varia Tekoku Omoa. Keep